Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I built a table that you can pull up to your couch if you're one of those people that, you know, like to eat while you watch TV or one of those people or those kids that like to do their homework and watch TV at the same time or, or just those people that, you know, want to uh, just sit in front of the TV and have a table in front of them. So if you want to see how I made this, uh, stick around. So I went rummaging through all my wood and I managed to find these two boards. I believe it's ash. It doesn't look like it's oak to me. Pretty sure it's ash. This here is going to do the legs and this is going to be the top. And I'm going to start by cutting the top to rough pieces and I'm going to mill them down and glue them together. So I got those cut down to rough length and milled to about one inch thick. So now I just have to get the orientation right. So to help keep these joints nice and even, I'm going to use some dominoes. I'm just going to pencil where they go and making sure that I stay away from the ends because I don't want to cut into the ends later and find out that I cut into a domino. I think if I do four per joint, that should be good. While we're waiting for the glue to dry on the top, we'll get on to milling down the wood for the legs. Now that we have all the wood cut to size for the legs, we're gonna go on to cut the miters and we're gonna use the Festool Domino jig again to help with aligning and giving strength to these joints and we'll glue it up. Now while we're waiting for the glue to dry on the legs, we're going to take the top out of the clamps and send it through the drum sander. Now before we attach the top, we need to add a support brace 
right here somewhere. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna stop it from doing any racking, side to side motion, and keep it nice and strong for years to come. I'm just going to attach that with some dominoes and some wood glue. And while I'm waiting for the glue to dry on this, I might as well attach the top. And to attach the top, I'm just gonna use these little figure eight clips. So we should be able to take the clamps off now. Thank you guys for watching and if you're new to my channel I encourage you to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video and like always we'll see you in the next one